These images are an everyday reality in the Palestinian-occupied territory of the West Bank. Captured by the Israelis from Jordan during the Six-Day War of 1967, the West Bank has a troubled history. Over the years, fighting between Israelis and Palestinians has cost countless lives. In recent times, tensions between the two have become further strained by the construction of the West Bank barrier, with confrontations at the Kalandia checkpoint, the main artery between Jerusalem and Ramallah, a regular occurrence. However, what brought Transworld Sport here wasn't the latest headline-making violent clash, but rather a charity, which is using sport to offer Palestinian children an alternative to the cycle of violence that haunts the region. There's so much violence here that it gets into the children and they have no way of expressing this or they express it in a negative way. And Capoeira is the vehicle, a way for them to like, take that violence and actually find a way to express it in a safe way and find a safe place for them to be who they want to be, which is kids, you know, their children. Established last year, Bidna Capoeira is a British-based charity that's using the Afro-Brazilian martial art of capoeira to help children in schools and refugee camps across the West Bank. The base of capoeira is all about social cohesion. I mean, if you think about where capoeira originated from, um, the slaves brought it over from Africa to Brazil and it was used as a way of combating the repression of their situation. They were never going to be free, but through capoeira, you know, they found spirit, they found soul, they gathered a community, and they made for themselves a sense of self-respect. And capoeira was the vehicle for that. Capoeira's philosophy is based on respect for others. There are no winners or losers. Both sexes and all ages can participate and learn together as equals. Combining elements of acrobatics, music and dance, Bidna Capoeira offers children the opportunity to not only practice a fun sport in a safe environment, but also to learn how to deal with issues of alienation, physical violence and emotional trauma. It diffuses tension and helps children become better people. They're able to forget about the situation here in Palestine. There's a lot of stress in their lives. In many cases, they don't get enough attention from their parents. And we want to change their situation for the better. Capoeira can make them feel wanted and happier with their place in society. And that's what we want. By helping children to engage in leisure and cultural activities, Bidna hopes to foster their healthy development and reduce their exposure to family and social conflict, domestic violence and risks related to the unsafe environment in which they live. Ironically, the most repressed right in this society and in the world is freedom. So I think it's the most important thing capoeira gives to people, and that's why they're affected so deeply. They realize that they can be free with their bodies, with their voices, their hands and their thoughts. This is the best thing capoeira can give you. Earlier this year, Bidna launched a pilot project with the UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees, aimed at introducing over 480 school children to capoeira. As with all its programs, Bidna employs the services of a psychologist, whose job is to work with local teachers to identify and offer help to especially vulnerable children. There are lots of other skills being taught here, like learning how to listen to each other or how to express one's feelings peacefully, without aggression or violence. They also learn about our longer-term expectations and the kind of behaviour we would like to see from them. The use of capoeira, which has subtle elements of attack and defence, not only allows the children to express their emotions in a safe environment, it also helps to enhance their physical health. Before we started capoeira, we weren't very well behaved. In fact, we were really naughty. It's changed the way I am. I've become well-behaved, respectful and helpful towards people, my family and my brothers. I used to feel weak and have no energy. But after I started capoeira, my life changed completely. 
I became fitter with lots of energy and stamina. Performing has become very important for me. Bidna is reliant on donations to fund its programs. Over the long term, its goal is to establish locally run, sustainable capoeira centers that function as a focus for community action, effectively contributing to local culture, self-empowerment and social development. In situations like Palestine, where the kids face violence every day, their situation under occupation, you know, nothing is settled for them, nothing is stable. Um, through Capoeira, what we're trying to help them with and teach them is having respect for themselves, for the other, the people they play with, to have self-control over themselves. Against a backdrop of continued unrest in the West Bank, Bidna Capoeira is striving to advance community development, social education and physical and psychological well-being. Within five years, they aim to complete 25 projects positively changing the lives of over 15,000 children.